Hello, another video, same day. Right, um, it's running fine, it's running perfect at the moment. More miles will tell if it's sorted. Um, yeah, it might be, it may well be running lean because of the Lextech full exhaust system, but I haven't really heard any evidence of that since since the last tweak and, and it's all running sweet. So I'm gonna leave it alone, try and ride it as much as possible and see what happens. Um, not too bothered about going in and trying to change the idle, mi uh, sorry, the air fuel mixture settings. If I'm shouting, it's because I've got the heater on and it might be a bit loud. Uh, because I'm still not uh, I'm still searching for the right exhaust system for it. Um, the reason for this video, uh, if you've been with me a while, oh God, there's always a bright light somewhere, isn't there? Where can we go without LED lights burning your face off? Next to the vice. Oh, the scandal on the vice. There we go. So, if you've been with me for a while, you will know that I like everything stock, original OEM. I've rebuilt dozens of bikes in my time, old barn finds and whatever, and put them back to absolute original condition, or as near as I can. I did it with my Escort, that was almost original, but... I, I sort of restored that to as original as you can get safely. Some things had to be changed for slightly more modern bits, i.e. the carburetor. But anyway, I like stock. I don't like mods on bikes. He says sat next to a, a modified seat, but Bear with. That one's the original seat, which I got a kit for and recovered, you might remember. So I've got the original seat. It's just bloody uncomfortable. So if I'm riding the thing, I use this one. But this one means we have the stock seat with the bike. Everything else on the bike is stock now. I don't count Givy luggage as stock or not because there's plenty of bikes out there that have got Givy luggage racks on. You can unbolt it and then you're back to original. Um, when I made that, when I made that, well, I didn't make that. I modified that and made that. Uh, to be honest, I hated it because it wasn't stock. That does the same job when the top box is on it. That's not stock either, but it's just me. That's probably going to fall down on my head now. So anyway, I want all my bikes to be OEM. I've only ever done one bike that was completely and utterly modified and chopped up and everything and that was before my YouTube channel. Me, the Triumph Daytona 1200 that was a pile of bits and I made it into a sort of thing. Street Fighter, not Street Fighter, whatever, flat tracker that was completely, I chopped bits off of it, I welded it up, I bolted bits on and that was all, virtually every part of that was non-standard. But I went into that project knowing that was what I was going to do. So that brings us in a very, very long winded way to the Lextech exhaust system. Full system, all Lextech. 
I never wanted that on the bike. I wanted the original OEM system. Yes, quiet. Yes, um, whatever you call it. Um, performance, unenhancing, whatever you want. I don't care. The original system is what should be on the bike. For me, if I want a more powerful bike, I'd buy something more powerful. You know, we're talking about a hundred horsepower bike here. We're not talking about, you know, most most 600s are 30, 40 horsepower quicker than this anyway, more powerful. Um, when I started biking 1984, a 500cc 50 horsepower bike was a big bike and I was happy riding those bikes then it was fine it's plenty even two up it was plenty nowadays it's got to be 1200 1300 cc um, I don't know why it just just has to be so this exhaust system this exhaust system, if you remember back to when I got the bike, this is a temporary thing. It's a wonderful system. It really, really is great. It sounds fantastic, even with the baffling, because I don't like loud exhaust, obviously. The baffling, it still sounds like a blooming drag bike. It's, it's got some real nuisance menace about it. Um, it's a lovely bit of kit. The headers and the link pipe the muffler all, all fantastic it was only ever temporary and it still is temporary I was hoping that I would take off the original exhaust system that I had on it which looked okay I was going to polish it up and I was going to fix it up it had the the usual snapped bit between where the headers come down and then you've got a collector and then a link pipe and then the muffler with three bolts in. Well, that was snapped. Um, it actually had a stainless steel sleeve in there, loose. And I was going to get it all welded up at work. Well, when I actually removed the whole system, put this system on, and then I was going to take that to Graham at work, and he was going to TIG weld it or whatever he does to stainless steel. Well, when I took the system off, it was toast. The headers were knackered, the little flanges that go on the headers have just completely rusted away, the collet, everything, it, it was way worse than I had anticipated. Even the um, even the muffler, the only bit that wasn't rotten because it's aluminium mostly, um, the three stub holes were just destroyed. Um, two of them had been drilled out and retapped. one had a helicoil in it, They were. it was at the stage where to make it work I'd have had to drill it out and tap it to like an M12 size I think and originally it's an M8 bolt that goes in there and there just wasn't enough meat on it and it wasn't particularly nice anyway. So the dilemma now well, no, ever since I put this LexTech on there, uh, me, grumpy, never, um, finding an original exhaust system for it is not going to happen because they're all rusty, they're all falling apart. Best I could do would be to buy a decent silencer. I've seen loads of silencers in all different states of repair. I'd want a nice one, you know, not scratched up and, and gnarly. But I thought, <coughs> excuse me, I've been thinking recently the compromise would have been the LexTech headers because they're absolutely fine, and the link pipe and then the standard can so it looked original but you'd have to really know your stuff to realise that the headers and the link pipe weren't standard Suzuki gear um, or anyone that's ever looked at a bandit would know but anyway problem is the LexTech system I bought doesn't have the flange 
to bolt a Suzuki silencer on. And there's other systems out there which do. In fact, Bandit has not Bandit, 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 one of my subs has got a Micron full system, but for an MOT you can put on the Suzuki stock baffle, baffle, muffler, um, and then take it off and bolt on the Micron one. So he's got best of both worlds. He's got a, a nice, really nice stainless system that's not going to rust and fall apart at the um, all the places they fall apart, and he's got best of both worlds. I got the Lextech, Lextech system, which has got slip-on muffler. Now a Mark II Bandit muffler standard is a slip-on, but this is a Mark I. So there's my quandary. I'm still looking for either a full original exhaust system for this, or I need to somehow get myself an original muffler, end can, whatever you call it, see if there's a link pipe that will link these headers to a standard can like they do on the um, and the other system, I've just the Micron system. I might try to speak to the LexTech guys who helped me with this when I when I originally bought it. They'd never they'd never actually sold one for Mark One Twelve Hundred Bandit, only six hundred Bandits, and there, there are differences in clearances and sizes. So I managed to get them to send me different fixings this I got a selection of bits from them until I found the ones that fitted then I let them know how it fitted and where and then from that point onward they supplied those bits with the 1200 systems for the Mark 1's not that anyone's probably bought one since I did so I might try and get hold of them again and see if they can make a link pipe that links their headers to a Bandit 3 bolt original because if that's something they can sell then anyone who wants to keep their original back box, baffle, muffler can just buy the headers and a link pipe so maybe they can make something but until such times the Lextech saying on it, um, if it's running a bit lean with that on it, which it probably is because they run lean anyway even with a standard system with all that baffling in it all the way through, who knows. So if anyone knows where there's a Mark 1 1200 Bandit complete exhaust system that hasn't got any rot on it, um, let me know. There won't be one because they don't exist. Or maybe, maybe, I don't know whether Lextech built the headers and the collector to the same spec as, say, Black Widow or um, Akropovic, or whatever they're called, or Yoshimura, or any of those. I don't know if it's the same spec and the same setup, because I could then buy... A link pipe from another brand just buy a link pipe and a back box a muffler a can an end can so there you go anyway you probably think I'm nuts because everyone else wants to put modifications all over their vehicles I don't I want it standard and I've always been like that if I want something that goes faster or corners better um, I buy a sports bike but I don't it's fine it's plenty for me um, there's a guy on YouTube with a 1200 Bandit, I'm not going to name him, um, but if you imagine a family went to Spain and hit the local markets and picked up every single tacky bit of tack you could imagine 
plastic gold gondoliers, um, sombrero hats, uh, toilet roll covers with the senorita, knitted toilet roll covers, um, a donkey, a four foot high stuffed donkey, anything really 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 tacky um, they'd bring it home. Well imagine that on a motorcycle. Every single aftermarket part in the whole world you've ever thought of is on this bike. He loves it, he's having a load of fun. His bike's brilliant, it works perfectly. He's, he's done a four degree ignition advance on it, it's got different coils, special coils, special everything. I mean, it's probably 20 horsepower more powerful than this. It looks, you know, it looks tacky, but he loves it, he's having great fun. He's made millions of videos on it. Bloody good luck to him. I'm the one person in the world that doesn't like that. The reason I bought this, or the reason I was even allowed to buy this, <laughs> was because Colin at the bike shop knew that I would restore this back to, back to original. Okay, if I wanted to chop it up and do it, it's, you know, I've bought it, it's mine now, I own it, but I didn't buy it with the intent. I, I bought it because it's still got, it's still even got the rear mudguard bit and the indicators, great big dolloppy, horrible, ugly indicators. Still, it's the reason I bought it because it was original and then I took the blooming exhaust off and made it not original and then I changed the seat, but we won't tell anyone. So there you go, uh, 17 minutes now, that's too long. But just to explain to you, anyone who's, lots of people are always telling me about all the mods and that. I know about all the mods. I've seen, well, I've owned 52 bikes. I've worked on hundreds of them. Um, I've seen all the mods. I know about all the mods. I am not interested. I like stuff as it is. Anyway, peace and love. I've been Springy. Any ideas on a link pipe that will fit or anyone knows where there is an original system that isn't rotten. Let me know. Thanks. Cheers. I've been Springy.